whatever you're refusing to sacrifice your time and fun for will become your sacrifice. What's goody YT? It's your boy KP and I'm back at it again with another video. And today I want to motivate you to kill the desire that you have for instant gratification. Everything good worth having in this life takes time. But because of social media, we want everything to happen fast. And depending on what age you're at, you may feel like you already missed your chance to make it. And that's cap. The average billionaire is 66 years old. And the average millionaire is 61 years old. So why do we as a community say that we need to make a mill by 21? That's 40 years earlier than the average millionaire or billionaire. And sometimes I like to compare my age to the age of my parents and how they're still chasing their dreams and hustling and bustling and trying to make a way for themselves and realize like, yo, I have time. Not meaning that I should abuse it, but just to give me reassurance that things don't need to happen overnight. And the funny thing is things don't happen overnight. There's a saying that overnight success takes 10 years. And that's so true. Funny enough, I've been making content for 10 years and I still haven't made it, in my opinion. There's still a lot of goals I want to accomplish and a lot of things that I want to check off my box. And although people know me for making content now and I post and they're just like, oh, that's another post from King Paul. Once I make it, people who don't know me would think I came out of nowhere and became an overnight success. So with all that in mind, I just want to let you know that you should take your time. Slow down to speed up, because the more you try to cut corners, the more you try to find shortcuts, the more you try to take the easy way out, the longer it will take you. Nothing good in this life comes easy. And honestly speaking, stop putting such a short time frame on accomplishing your goals. There's another thing that's always on social media that's like, oh, if you just lock in for six months or six months of locking in could change your life. And it's like, that may be true. But that's not the case for everybody. Even to graduate school, you got to go to school for 12 years before getting your diploma. Then if you want to get a college degree, you need to go to school for another four years. So why are we putting months to accomplish huge goals when just graduating school took us years? Some of y'all may be watching this and you want to become a content creator. So let's say you give yourself like six months to go viral. You'll still feel like if you're like, uh, I don't know if I'm making it six months, but imagine if you gave yourself four years to go viral. I'm pretty sure you would have the confidence that to know within those four years, something is going to blow up. So why not just think like that? If you're starting a business, instead of being like, oh, within my first three months, I want to make so-and-so. So what about your first three years? I have no doubt in my mind that you make it within three years. And that's another funny thing, because a lot of businesses don't even break even within their first year. Most of them fail within their first year. And we be thinking that as long as we get on social media and we have good marketing and we go viral, we're going to make it within a couple of weeks or months. It's kind of insane. <laughs> Think about your age, how far you've come, and how much you've accomplished in the amount of time that you've been here on Earth. And then compare that time with the amount of time that you be giving yourself to accomplish your goals makes no sense they're so far apart so let's just all start being for real and wait for things to come into fruition and don't get me wrong i'm not saying don't be ambitious and don't try to accomplish things in a timely manner but don't let the time that you're putting on yourself discourage you from moving forward when it's not happening on your time or at the pace that you want it to or within the time frame that you want it to if you're a believer, you already know that God's timing is the best timing. So I don't even know why you're giving yourself a limit to accomplish your goals. Pray about it. Put in the work because faith without works is dead. And wait. Like my trading mentor Damien always tells me, patience pays. So just stay patient. Continue to persevere. Be a prayer warrior. And just let God do his thing. The last thing you want is to receive success prematurely. Look at the process as the developing stage. You got to go through certain trials and tribulations to build yourself up and develop your character so that when you get what you want, you're able to maintain it. And that's another thing. We be wanting to gain things so quickly. We don't realize that if we were to really receive exactly what we want, being the people that we are now, we would throw it all away or we would mess it up or we would lose it because we're not developed enough mentally to be able to even keep what we want under control. Trust the process, don't duck the process, man. A lot of these sayings seem cliche, but they're true. 
and that's the funny thing with life it could all be so simple but us as humans just complicated by doing too much or overthinking or trying to speed up the process so if you don't get anything from this video one thing that i want you to really keep in your mind is to take your time if you really want it and you stay consistent you'll get it trust me and yeah that's all i got for y'all man till next time take care